Welcome to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. Today we're going to look at points of interest or POIs. This is all done in the POI editor. If you're not familiar with the POI editor, this is a place where you're going to adjust your hot cues, you're going to save loops, you can add macros, you can adjust auto mix points and add beat anchors as well as add remix points. We're going to dive right into the software and have a detailed look at it. All right, so we get into the software and to get into the POI editor or points of interest, we pick a song and we right click on the track and the options menu will show up. We're going to choose POI's editor. So points of interest editor, click on it. This is what you'll see. This is the points of interest editor. I'm actually just going to expand this a little bit so we can work with it a little more. So you see your waveform and you see this box down below. Now show all is checked by default. If you click on show all, it automatically marks your first beat. It also automatically mixes or shows your auto mix points. So you have mix tempo, mix cut, mix full, mix cut exit, mix fade exit, and mix full exit. Those are automated auto mix points that are there by default based on whatever type of auto mix you decide to use. So we're not going to show all for this example. Uh, just to make it a little cleaner, so first thing you should know is that uh, you can scroll in with your mouse wheel or your touchpad just by uh, moving up and down. Your playhead is right over here, this green playhead. And you can pick and choose where you want to place it. So if we scroll in and we move our track over, we take our playhead and we put it on that beat. We can actually make a new point of interest just by clicking on new. Now Q, hot Q is the default. So if we wanted to make Q1, which we will in this example, we use type as hot Q and it's going to be marked as Q1. Now if you wanted to do something else, we could also move the Q point around just by selecting the playhead where it's marked and say, oh, I want to move my cue point to right about there. And if I want to be more accurate, I can scroll right in and I want it on that right on the beat. Now you can choose snap as well and snap will put it right on the beat, whatever your marks are. Or if you want to do a little more free marking of the track, you can take snap off. Now, I want to do another new auto or a, a new point of interest about here. Now the great thing about this is you can select by type. So you can make a saved loop here, for example, and we'll change it to saved loop. And it's four beats, but we can also make it eight beats or other. 32 beats or one beat for that matter depends on what you want for your saved loop four beats is good And you can see that this green wave here is basically your loop point and you can Actually use Q2 as your Saved loop so if you hit hot Q2 on your controller and it's set as Q2 it'll go into that saved loop I like using my saved loops as marker only and then I will write script as in you know to activate the saved loop with one of the custom buttons uh, but for example if we went to Q2 and we saved that quickly we'll just press play doesn't sound like a bad loop now that's set as Q2. So if I take this track and I load it into a deck, I'm gonna hit Q2. It 
goes into that loop automatically. And just loop out to get out of the loop. Now if we go back into the POI editor, there's other things that you can do. Well, if we choose Q1, for example, maybe I didn't like that. We can just go to a little trash icon, just click trash, and it asks you if you'd like to delete the POI. Say yes. We'll go back to our saved loop, for example. So if you set it as Q2, it's going to be Q2. Now, you can also go by action, where you could type in a script here. Uh, a vir any virtual DJ script will work. Uh, you could type in maybe, for example, uh, the flanger uh, to come on uh, a effect or a sample to trigger at a certain point in the song. Um, so you can fool around with those, uh, calling them actions or macros. You can also use remix points. Uh, a remix point is actually done in the sampler. That'll probably require another video. You could make a beat grid anchor. So if we use this as an example and we wanted to tighten up our grid a little bit we could actually move and you can actually see the grid moving back and forth so if I wanted to put it on a certain point I can put it right on there and I can zoom in nice and tight and get my grid dead on and you can there's no limit to the number of grids beat grid anchors that you can use of course you can choose an auto mix point and you can choose a load point. So if I wanted to do a new one and call it a load point, and I'll just call it load one, and we'll just use a marker because we don't need it to be a cue point. We should show all and make sure that there's no other load points set there. I don't see any. So if we exit here, Oh, maybe we should adjust that load point. Where is the load point? There it is. So load point is right about here. If we unload that track and load this one into the deck, you can see it's all, that's where it's going to start, right here at your load point. So you can actually trigger a track to load at certain stages if it's got maybe a long intro or some silence or something like that that you do not want to have at the beginning of your mix. Also kind of acts as a hot cue too if you just wanted to hit the play button. You can mark that as your first point. So as I said you can adjust your hot cues, you can create hot cues, you can play with saved loops, you can do actions remix points, you can anchor your beat grid, you can use an auto mix point or a load point. Probably going to have to go into these a little more detail in other videos. Uh, I'll try to put some uh, screen captures together for you so that you can see really how to get into the points of interest. It's quite simple to use, it's very intuitive. You just need to play around with it a little bit. If you have a certain section of uh, the POIs that you would like a little more detail in, please leave a comment below and I will make sure to put something together for you guys. So that should give you a pretty decent overview of POIs, what POIs are, and how to use them. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.